Hey guys, I'm here. I wanted to talk about hair loss. So I am um, about six weeks out. I have not had significant hair loss, but I have had some friends that have. And so I started implementing their recommendations for how they grow their hair back. One had significant hair loss, and um, it's just part of the process. Not It had, doesn't happen to everybody, but what you can do to help prevent it. Um, I don't know if you really can. I think if it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. But the good news is that it's gonna grow back as long as your nutrition is good. So you wanna make sure that you're getting your 60 to 90 or whatever your physician is recommending in with your protein. Um, they say uh, 10,000, I think it's micrograms of biotin. Um, I will link what I take. I have actually been putting on the patch and taking um, um, an oral because I'm gonna wean off the patches from PatchMD. I'll link those below. Um, but some things that I do, um, two things I want to talk about today is what I'm implementing in my hair routine as far as hair loss and what I use in my curly routine because I'm always getting questions. Listen, if you're like me, you've paid a million dollars, okay? A ton of money over curly hair products. And every time you watch one of those videos, you're like, I gotta get this, I gotta get that, let me try, ooh, none of it worked for me, okay? So this curly hair has been a product of me switching to these two products. And when I say that this is all I use, I swear to God, this is it. This is a shampoo that, um, which I did not think would work because why should it? It's not from, you know, it's from doTERRA. You know that I'm a wellness advocate, so I, I'm a big oil advocate, but I did not have any <laughs> belief that especially with hair of my texture and my ethnicity that their products would work. But I tried it um, just because I had some points. I said, well, let me just trade it in and try their stuff. It's been a year now, and my curly hair has never looked better. Um, it is touchable. It's curl. I can touch it without it frizzing out. Um, I can scrunch it, it doesn't fuzz up, and that's the problem I had. Everything else I put in my hair, it just looked a mess. The curls wouldn't clump together, and I've been natural for a long time, like now probably about six years now, okay? So here it goes. This is their protecting shampoo. They are chock full of lots of essential oils. Wild orange, um, this one has wild orange, it has lime oil, and so those are really good at stripping down the hair follicle. Why that's important is because usually with curly hair routines you get, if you co-wash, if you don't wash very often, you get a lot of buildup, okay? So this will strip it down, and when I straight strip it down, I mean like, strip it down, okay? Like, is my hair Brillo pad? I freaked out the first time I used it. It is, Really important though that it does that because you're gonna replenish it and this stuff is some of the most hydrating stuff in the world. And I know it because my curls have so much elasticity in it. They're, look, I can pull it, bounce it, they don't frizz out, nothing. So this is their conditioner. It is really, really thick, okay? And now we use this for my daughter, for my sons. It, everybody switch to this. And this is, when I say the only product I we use, I mean, the only product, okay? So I wash with that. I take this in the shower. I take uh, two pumps and it's very, very thick. Put it in my hands, comb it through with my fingers, comb all my curls out, okay? Rinse it off so that the hairs kind of, the waves kind of start to stick together. When I come out of the shower, I take another couple of pumps and then I dress my, you know, I'll lift this part up. Now, I don't do all of it, I don't have time. You know, everybody's like, oh, with curly hair, you need to separate it small, put a ton of product in each piece. I, that never worked for me, didn't make a difference. I have not have to do that with this. All I do is probably split it in half, I take a pump, put it in my hand and you want a generous amount because it gives it even almost a little hole to it. I run it through with my fingers, run my curls down, allowing the curls, you'll see them, they'll kind of clump together with this conditioner, okay? Then I go to the top and I do the same thing and I just keep combing, raking my fingers through and your curls will just be bouncing and popping together, okay? So I use that, and like I said, you want a generous amount, um, you know, a couple of pumps. Probably it might, it just depends on how much hair you have, but you want it to be dressed well, and you'll see all the hair follicles lay down together, and you'll see your wave pattern clump together, and the ringlet starts to form, okay? That is all. I don't use anything else. Every once in a while, like my daughter's hair is almost red, and so after I do that, I will take an oil, um, either like a, um, 
avocado oil or um, some of the other oils I have and I'll just lightly dress it in my hand and literally tap her ends and her top just like that because what happens is if you put a lot of oil in after you've put that moisturizing agent in and you comb it through the hair or use a comb, the oil will separate those hair shafts and you'll no longer have ringlets, it'll be a frizz ball. So I've just learned to seal in the moisture for her so it lasts longer all day because she really needs it and it, her hair drinks it without looking dry and frizzy. I just take that oil and I just do like this on top once I've combed through the conditioner, but not like raking it through with my fingers, okay? That's it. Now, all my hair loss people, all my bariatric people, this is what I've implemented. Take some rosemary oil. This is awesome. This will even grow your eyelashes if you don't have um, sensitive eyes. You can add a couple drops to your uh, mascara. But you're gonna take some of this in your conditioner. I don't care what kind you have, but you wanna drop it in. And this is a huge bottle. So I would probably add about 20 drops to this giant bottle and shake it up. Um, but I put about 10, 10 drops of this in there. And then this is Arbor Vitae, which is great for stimulating the hair follicles. So this is another oil for hair loss, which is really important. Um, and I put about 10 drops of that in here, shook it up. So then I have some in there when I have my hair prep. The other thing that I do is I take a drop of each neat and I just rub my scalp um, so that they'll be stimulated. And so far we're good to go. So I know that it takes a few months. So even if it does happen, I've had like severe hair loss with my kids before. And re just remember when it comes to that hair loss, everybody's like, oh my God, my hair's falling out. What do I do? Well, there's a, it's called, I think, I don't I want to, I, I, forgive me if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly for all of my cosmetologists, people that are well studying it, but it's like teleflip. <laughs> I'll just link the word here. So it's teleflip, tele, whatever it is, and eflum, eflum, whatever. So here's the, here's the words right here, okay? So this cycle is for um, the growth of the hair and the other cycle is a resting phase. Normally our hair goes through that growth and resting phase all the time, but it's not all at once. So if you've had a great event, like you've had a baby, um, you've had surgery, you had high stress, sometimes it will cause the body, you know, to, re to rest the hair. So you'll have a lot of shedding at one time, especially if you've carved down those calories, okay? Well, that cycle can last, you know, it may go into to resting phase for three to six months, even seven months, and the hair follicles just stay dormant. So you wanna keep your nutrition up. It will come back. I promise you it's gonna come back. But it's gonna come back at the same time, but remember, it is going to go through a resting phase. There's nothing incredible about it it sucks that it's all at one time because you've had a stressful thing but it's normal our hair rests and does that we lose several hairs a day just not at once so it needs to go through that resting phase and then it will begin to regenerate the hair okay so <clears throat> you know if that means that if i lose hair today it may be seven months before i start to have regrowth and then you know hair grows you know some people it's just a half an inch or quarter inch a month an inch it just depends on the person and remind me of this in six months. <laughs> but I have gone through this before with my kids. One was so severe that it was completely thin here. I thought I had male pattern balding. I went to the dermatologist and she was like, no, you don't. You just had a baby. It's just what it is. It just happened that, you know, it fell in a seven year cycle. I had had one baby every couple of years. You all know we have uh, four kids. And it, it was like from beginning of me having the first one to that when it was seven years. And so I had just a ton of hair loss. And I mean, like I would come out with handfuls like bird's nest every day. So it did come back. And I believe that, you know, you know, if I go through the same cycle, it'll be the same thing. But these are the things that are tried and true from people that have absolutely had hair loss that did help them work out. Plus, plus remember that this conditioner here has a gaggle of stuff that's good for hair regrowth and it already has rosemary in it. It's got lavender oil. And I mean, these things are like the third uh, thing down on the list of what's in it. So, which is really great. It's got lavender oil, cedarwood, peppermint, which stimulates growth, neroli oil, um, ylang ylang, lime, lemon, cow's foot, all, all kind of great stuff in there. Sandalwood, 
avocado oil. This is some really, really good stuff, okay? And they have a list of do not use stuff where they don't use any of the crap um, that is on the like bad toxic for you list, okay? So I'll post that also below. But if you guys need to get oils or you're interested in trying this, let me know. I'll put a link below or you can send me an email. But that's what we're using for our hair loss. Make sure you get your vitamins in. Until next time, I'll see you on Mom Saving Grace. Oh, there was one more thing. For refreshing your hair, I take this because it is so, so thick. I take this, I take about two, three pumps in and I put water in here, shake it up, shake it up. And so for like my daughter's ringlets in the morning where she sleeps wild, it's really bad. I spray her hair with this. Sometimes I'll even add a little rosemary oil in there, but we will spray, spray it on her hair to get those curls a popping again and mine too. So I don't wash my hair every single day, but I will refresh with that, comb through my fingers, add a little dressing of the um, conditioner, not a lot, so it gets coated down heavy and be ready to go. If you can sleep in a bonnet to keep those curls from mashing down, you can do it. I get hot. Mama's in her 40s. So next time, Mom Tim and Grace, please like, share, and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time. You guys have a blessed day.